Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and I have great news for you. If you have ever struggled to write a formula where you nest one if function inside another if function inside another, well, what I'm going to demonstrate is how easy it is to write your own custom Excel function to replace those multiple if functions. So here I have a long convoluted formula where I nest one if function inside another if function where I use the AND function to join together uh, this tier. After a while, I feel that I'm tied up in knots, and I'm sure that you do, and then, God forbid, I leave off one of the closing parentheses pairs. So in this case, the sales manager said, Danny, we're going to implement a new quantity break. We want to reward or encourage customers to order at least six units. If that's the case, they'll get a 10% discount. And depending upon how many units they order, they can qualify for a 15, 20, or 25% discount. So in the past, I would share the frustration that you have of going through and nest one if function inside the other. And God forbid that the sales manager changes his mind after we've gone through this, trying to reconstruct this. Well, again, I'm just tied up in knots. So after this lesson, you're going to say, why didn't I discover this before. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Let's begin to write our custom function in Excel by opening up the Visual Basic Editor. One way to do that is to right mouse click any worksheet tab. It doesn't matter which one. And then click View the Code. So here we have our Visual Basic Editor. We have the Project Explorer over here and we have a module. Now we're writing our custom function inside a module just as we do with a macro procedure. And you want to make sure that you're writing it in the module. So pay attention over here to make sure that this stays inside the module. All right, great. First keyword is the word function. And notice that I always use lowercase because when I move down to the next line, if the initial F hasn't capitalized, then I know I made a spelling mistake, and that's been known to happen. Let's give our custom function a name. Let's call it capital D I S C capital Q T Y. So our discount quantity, and just as I would with any function, I must include arguments inside a left and a right parentheses. What I want to include as the argument is quantity. And now, when I hit Enter, notice I get the initial capitalization for the F in function, and I also get an N function. So function must be paired with an N function. Now, I'm going to use a series of indents and outdents as I write this code. The first keyword is the word select. And in this case, the second keyword is case. We're going to be using case as a substitute for if. So rather than writing equals if, we're going to say select case for the quantity. And now hit enter. My keyword select has initially capitalized. My keyword case has initially capitalized. I'll use an indent to say the first case is, the first if is, in other words. Think of it that way. Substitute case for if. So case is that the quantity is, and I don't write quantity, but I put in less than or equal to 5. If that's the case, then what will happen to the formula, the function? So I write the name of the function, and again, notice that I'm writing it in lowercase. So the discount quantity will be zero. We don't offer a discount until you order at least six copies. So if that's the case, if the range is between six to 24. And again, notice that this is substituting for having to use the AND function where both um, uh, conditions are met. So the case will be that quantities are 6 to 24. If that's the case, then the function will give you a discount. And this time I'm going to purposely misspell quantity. I'll put QLY rather than QTY. So the function that I'm intending will offer a 10% discount. Now again, notice that I didn't get the capitalization. So that's the first key uh, indicator that I've made a spelling mistake. So now I have the correct name for the function. So let's put in our next here. This will again substitute for having to write an AND uh, function. So this time the tier will be from 25 copies to 49. And if that's the case, the function will be equal to a 15% discount, 0.15. Our next tier 
instead of an AND function, case will be from 50 to 74. And if that's the case, the name of the function will give a 20% discount, 0 0.2. And our final tier will be case is. So just as we did in the first, we're going to use a comparison operator. So the comparison will be greater than or equal to 75. If that's the case, then the function is going to give a 25% discount. Now, I always forget this, which is why I use this outline structure. It's important that I match a select with an end select. And again, notice I get the capitalization. So just as I match function with end function, I want to make sure that I match select case with the end select. So select and end select, Patrick, pair up. The functions have all capitalized. Everything looks as though it's in order. We're ready to test it out. So let's come over here and test it out. Equals, and I write the words, and there it is. It's right there. You notice that there's that function. So in function autocomplete in Excel 2007, 2010, and now I'll point over, this is the quantity that I want to refer to. And yeah, sure enough, I get a 10% discount. And if I copy this down, I'll use the double click for the autofill. Yeah, four copies, I don't qualify for a discount. If I were to order six, well, yeah, then I would get the discount. And I want to make sure that I bulletproof and go down. 71 one, that's 20%. Yeah, that's the next to the highest tier. 76 copies, that's greater than 75. So what would you rather have? And let's bring back the custom function. One way to do that is hold down the Alt key while you press the F11 key. So which is easier to explain? This new custom function that we wrote in Visual Basic or this long, long, long function? And again, we pray that the sales manager doesn't change their mind. It's a nightmare to go back and edit this logic in this function. It's a breeze if the sales manager said, you know, Danny, I'm thinking that we should change these tiers. You see with the indent, the outdent uh, structure, it's just that it's so simple to do. So uh, now that you have that opportunity, try it out for yourself. You will save time. You will save so much frustration. But don't tell the sales manager how easy it was to implement. And this is typical of the tips that I offer in my 50 best series of DVD ROMs. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.